Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is the final rate watch for 2023. As you can see, I've changed the background. It's a little bit more festive. This morning, the Bank of Canada met and I wanna go through some of those details and then we'll wrap up the year. Join me. There were no surprises this morning as the Bank of Canada announced that they were going to keep the prime rate unchanged. The overnight lending rate remains at 5%. The retail bank prime rate remains at 7.2%. So this is the third consecutive meeting that they haven't changed. Uh, this was widely expected. There were no surprises here. And uh, But what is interesting is the language that accompanies the announcement. So what the market is looking at are pivots in the language. And what we see in the Bank of Canada's press release is a lot of language relating to a slowing global economy, a slowing Canadian economy, rising inflation. Uh, and they use the language, it's interesting, the choice of words, they say that the Canadian economy is no longer in excess demand. So that means that we're starting to find stabilization. Um, if you ask some economists, they'll say that we've tipped over to the other side already and that we're close to a recession. Um, but that's the language that the Bank of Canada chooses to use to kind of create stability. Now, you'll find in the last paragraph from the Bank of Canada that they're still trying to flex that muscle. They're saying, look, if we see increased price pressure, we will raise interest rates further. And that was widely expected because the Bank of Canada has to walk this fine line because if they announce that they're worried or that they're go going to start cutting rates, then we will see a very precipitous drop to bond yields. Uh, we'll see increased spending, which can be counterproductive in the flight ag fight against inflation. So what exactly does all of this mean for rate forecasts and where interest rates are headed in 2024? The reality is, is that the Canadian economy is showing a lot of weakness. Consumer spending is very low. Uh, unemployment is rising. It's currently 5.8 as of the last read in November uh, and expected to rise further to 6%. Uh, inflation is starting to be tamed. So when you start evaluating all of these things, there's a very compelling argument to suggest that interest rates are going to start dropping in 2024. And in fact, we are starting to see that already being reflected in the bond market. Bond prices have gone up, which means that yields have shrunk by about 100 basis points from their high in November. So we're starting to see fixed rate mortgages already start to come down. There's a long way to go further, but we're starting to see that trend. Uh, at the moment, traders and what we call the market are starting to price in probabilities of rate cuts as soon as Q1 of 2024. Uh, and certainly by Q2 of 2024, the expectation is uh, between two to three rate cuts by the Bank of Canada. Beyond that, the expectation is that rates will drop by approximately two and a half percent to arrive at a new terminal rate for the Canadian economy. So there you have it. That's a wrap for 2023. I think 2024 is going to be a lot more exciting in terms of rate cuts. And I look forward to bringing you those rate cuts with these rate watch emails. But given that this is the last one, obviously you can see that the festivities have begun here in the Mulder household. Um, if you are celebrating Christmas, a Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays. And as always, the door is open to you and I really appreciate and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to work with you and bring you all of this information. So have a wonderful end of the year and we'll see you in 2024. Bye for now.